Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's How to Make Ghee or Clarified Butter. We've just got 500 grams of fresh butter here and we are just going to melt that slowly until it is well melted. The clarified butter or ghee is used a lot in Indian cooking and it is the butter that has had the milk solids removed. By doing that we cook this until milk solids solidify on the bottom of the pan and then we pour off the clear clarified butter from the top. This doesn't require refrigeration and it will keep for several months in its clarified state. And once that's all melted we just turn the heat back and let it bubble away. As the scum starts to form on the surface, a little bubble start to surface, we remove those with a spoon and just discard that because that's going to discolour our ghee which we want to have a, um, like a nice clear oil. It's completely dissolved now and it's starting to separate a little bit. Now we just want this to bubble away probably for about a half an hour, 45 minutes until you get little brown crispy bits on the bottom and the scum and bubbles rise to the surface. As they do we're going to remove them and discard them. You don't want the milk solids to burn so just keep your eye on that. Okay now that scum's rising to the surface we just scoop it off with a spoon and discard. A flat spoon is good for this job. Now after about 20 minutes we've scraped all the scum off the surface. It's still having the gentlest little bubble and all the milk solids have fallen to the bottom and are presently setting there. Now they'll have a nut sort of brown colour. We're going to strain this with a coffee filter paper and get all of those little brown bits out leaving just the pure clear clarified butter or okay. ghee. Now after about 20 to 25 minutes all of our milk solids have set to the bottom it is no longer spitting it's very hot though we're going to turn that heat off and allow it to cool until it's more manageable and then we're going to strain off the clarified butter and there's the scum that's come off it it's really quite fluffy and you can see the sort of browner bits in the top there i'm going to put that into some mashed potato later and that's going to be amazing the flavor of that on its own is really quite nice okay after about 15 to 20 minutes of cooling our ghee now looks Looks like that. We've got our coffee filter paper in a silicon funnel and that's sitting in a glass jug so we're just going to pour our ghee off the top. The coffee filter paper is going to collect all the little chunky bits and just allow the clear clarified butter to fall through. So just be patient here as it falls through see it in the bottom there. And there we have our fresh homemade ghee. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Cheeky Richo's homemade ghee. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas just check out our Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon we have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week and thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Curried zucchini and naan bread.